So the eigenvalues are the roots of the characteristic polynomial. To get the characteristic polynomial of a matrix, then you take the determinant of that matrix minus a multiple of i. In particular, the characteristic polynomial, which you could dictate this way, would be the determinant of some multiple, just call it t, of i minus a, which of course is the same as the negative of the determinant of a minus t i, that familiar expression. And if you were just equating it to zero, well, yes, that would be no difference which way round it was. Right, so the determinant of this. Well, that means I've got to do t times i, which will have to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So t i will just be t down the main diagonal with zeros for all the rest, minus that a. So t i minus a, if I want the determinant of that, that would be the determinant of t minus 3. Nothing take away 1, nothing take away negative 1, nothing take away 2, t minus 3 again, nothing take away nothing, nothing take away negative 1, nothing take away 2, and then t again on the main diagonal, take away 5. Fill up this space. <coughs> right, now the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, you could do that the long way with each of the top row times its minor or search for a quicker row or column. There's a quick column down there, because that would just be 1 times its minor and t minus 5. Watch the signs, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, so that's quite easy. So that would just be 1 times its minor, negative 2, t minus 3, 1, 2, plus t minus 5 times its minor. Oops which would be t minus 3, negative 1, negative 2, t minus 3. I'll just set that out then. So the characteristic polynomial would be <coughs> expanding this out. This little bit of algebra here, if you like. So it's just 1 times that. So it'll just be whatever that comes to. So that'll be negative 4, take away t minus 3 plus t minus 5 times, what have I got there, t minus 3 squared, take away, that's a positive 2, take away 2. So that's going to be negative 1 minus t, and that's that bit finished. We'll just have to wait for this now. Oh. t minus 5 times, and then this lot, we'll square the bracket. t squared minus 6t plus 9 minus 2. Save another line, that makes us plus 7. So it's negative 1 minus t plus, then t times all of that, just adds 1 to all the powers. <coughs> minus 5 times each of them, minus 5t squared plus 30t, and then finally minus 35. So the characteristic polynomial of matrix A will be t cubed, t squared, minus 11 t squareds, t's, minus 11, uh, 37 take away 1, plus 36 t, then the numbers, minus 35, minus 36. Right, that's the method of using the determinant, the determinant of this combination. Right. So that's it cleared. Right, the second method is to use a formula for it where the characteristic polynomial is a polynomial made up with coefficients that come from the principal minors of the matrix. That's all the minors based on the main diagonal. <coughs> where it looks like this. It'll be t cubed minus the principal minors of order 1 plus the principal minors of order 2, that's have been t squared, minus the principal minors of order 3. Well, these things being the principal minors of order 1 just means the 1 by 1 matrices. So that'll just, so determinants, that'll just be 3, 3 and 5. That's the trace of it. So it's going to equal t3 minus the trace of a t squared plus 
Now the 2x2 two two principal minors based on that will be the 2x2 two two determinants for each of those because they're all positives so that would be if that's A11, A22 and A33 it'll be plus capital A11 standing for the signed minor and the signs are positives so you just think of the minors plus A22 plus A33 so it'll be that lot of T if this is going off, minus at the end the minor of order 3, well there's only the one 3 by 3 matrix, so that'll just be the whole determinant then of A. So that means I need to figure out these three things. So I need the trace of A. Trace of A is just add up those three, if you like, one by one determinants. So that's 3 plus 3 plus 5. So that's going to be 11. Right, the three two by two principal minors is going to be, well, A11 will be three zero negative two five, A22 will be three negative one negative one five, and three three will be three one two three. So what's that? <coughs> that's a zero there of course so that's going to be 15 take away nothing that's going to be 15 take away 1 so that's 14 and that's going to be 9 take away 2 so that's 7 so that comes to 29, 36 and the last thing is going to be the determinant of A <coughs> just by using the diagonal patterns the three diagonals three main diagonals minus the three other diagonals so that's going to be 9 fives are 45. Next one's going to be 1 times 0, so that's just a 0. Next one's going to be negative 1 times 2 times negative 2, that's a plus 4. Subtract the other ones, so that's going to be subtract a 3, subtract a 1 to 10, and subtract a 3 times 0, that's a 0. So altogether there you've got 13 away from that is tw uh, 30, um, 31. 32, 36. Then put it all together. So the characteristic polynomial is going to be t cubed minus the trace, so that's minus 11 t squared, plus the sum of the second order minors, so that's plus 36 t, minus the determinant, the big 3 by 3 determinant, a minus 36, same as before. So, for the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues are the roots of the characteristic polynomial. Of course, there's also the other, the matrix itself will be a root of that characteristic polynomial. If you were to put that for those places, it should produce the zero matrix. Still, eigenvalues, solution of that polynomial, well, that's just going to involve a bit of synthetic division. 1 minus 11, 36 minus 36. Loads of factors of 36. <coughs> but since it's only going to be three brackets, I'm hoping it's like the bigger we'll try two. So it'll be one, two, negative nine, negative eighteen, eighteen, negative thirty-six, zero. Yes, of course I knew that anyway. So that's going to equal t minus two times t squared minus nine t plus eighteen equals zero. So that's going to be t minus 2 times, it must be t times t, 3 sixes would add up to that, and they're both negative. So that gives you the eigenvalues of 2, 3 and 6. That's it.